welcome back to my channel. So today I have my June favorites. Yeah! June has been, did I say June? Yeah, June, because it's July now. Yeah, it's July. It's my June favorites of 2015. My, oh my, this year has flown by so fast. It's, it seems like last year I was just at Fame Expo and then I ended the month of June at Fame Expo. By the way, Thank you guys so much for coming and saying hi. It was so, so surreal. Real quick announcement, next week I will be at Unicon LA with Benefit Cosmetics. So stay tuned on my Instagram for details on that meetup. And also I will be at VidCon LA as well. Um, July is jam-packed crazy. In June I was able to go to the Bahamas. I was able to go to Atlanta to pick up my passport for the Bahamas. It's a whole other story. Oh my god, June was just crazy. Am I boring you guys? Am I, bo am, am I boring you guys? I hope I'm not boring. Nonetheless, anyways, in June or May, I can't recall the date, I shot for a plus size magazine. You know me, you guys, I'm a big girl. So that's my exciting news. I want to share with you and launch it on my June favorites because it did launch on June 15th, but I wanted to save it for my June favorites. And here is the cover. This is so cool. I just got the issue in print. It's only an online magazine, but I requested if I could get a copy in print. And the issue or the spread is called A Star is Born. And I'm so excited to have collaborated with um, Scorch Magazine on this project. Um, it's amazing. They ask me questions about, about me. And here is the issue right here. You guys can check it out. A Star is born i think i'm wearing the same top no no, no. um but yeah i got to work with uh tiffany kaylin nicole ronnie was um help ronnie my, my my good friend helped me with makeup i'm stuttering i'm just so excited so i'm gonna flip through this to show you guys um uh, a little bit of the magazine work oh my god this is just so it's so cool it is so cool it's cool and i never thought that i would have an opportunity like this. I, I, my, my parents never told me growing up, when you grow up, Patrick, you will be on a plus size magazine. God, I, are you kidding me? This is crazy. But yeah, that shoot was so, so, so much fun. Please check out the link. Please check out the issue on scorchmagazine.com. Um, please comment on it. Share it with your friends on Facebook because I just, I'm just here to inspire and, and maybe help someone that um, has been insecure like I was growing up. I wasn't the most um, confident kid growing up and I found my confidence via makeup and via friendship. And I think it's about surrounding yourself with good friends, good people, and um, just following what you love. And, and my love was makeup. And here I am today on the cover of Scorch Magazine. I just want to share this with you. It's, it's not, it's, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I'm just excited. Yeah, I'm just gonna shut up about it because I don't wanna look vain. <laughs> Anyways, what else? Oh, you guys, have you guys not noticed my new setup? Like, my new room? If you guys have not been following me on Snapchat, which you guys should, it is the Patrick Star. Um, I have been decorating a beauty room. This room right here has been a formal living room living space in my house at my parents home and they did not use it it was mainly for old people to sit in when guests came over and I would always film here when no one was over and as I've gotten older with my family and my brothers and I we haven't had as many relatives over just because of life college and jobs and work and it's just and I've, I've been shooting here for so long, I thought I would just I asked my parents if I could make it into a beauty room. And they said, okay. It's not done yet. I still have to get my Vanity Girl Hollywood in. I believe it comes in tomorrow. So I'm so excited to show you. That's the only thing that's missing in this damn room is the vanity. Everything is set. I had started from scratch, paint. Um, I even wanted like crown molding, a dresser, a couch. Um, a desk everything I had just saved my pennies and just bought a little bit at a time throughout the month of May and June and just put it together in my room and I'm so excited for you guys to see it um, this is as much as you're gonna see right now there's the couch the desk is behind me but yeah if you guys follow me on snapchat you guys will see all the behind the scenes of 
where I'm at, how I film, and whatnot. I don't know what else to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Is this, this is not the end of the video. Calm, the, calm, calm down, calm down. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see a beauty room tour. Many of you guys have been asking, but I don't know if I should just do a beauty room tour or a beauty room tour and makeup collection or just all in one. Because I've seen other videos where they do it all in one, where they show the room and the makeup. I just have so much makeup. But let me know if you guys want to see the room in its entirety without the makeup. Because that's just, it's just so long. Or if you guys want to see a full bulk video together, then let me know. Speaking of the beauty room, I'm going to put this right next to Caitlyn Jenner's magazine. Can I get a yes? Yes, bitch. Okay, guys. Really quick story I have for you. This story is a mess. It is my Snapchat story. I don't know if you guys are going to be interested in it, but let me just tell it really quick for like a minute. So really quick, my brother called me and he was like, hey, Patrick, wake up. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired. He was like, do you want to grab lunch? And I was like, cool, where are you at? He was like, I'm at school. And I was like, okay, so you're not home. He's like, okay, yeah, I'm just going to leave school and I'll meet you at lunch. <sighs> this was, I want to say this story is probably a favorite of yours because it happened. It actually happened today, but I'm just going to throw it in my June favorites. Of the story. So, my brother um, calls me and said, you want to grab lunch? And I said, yeah, sure, let me get ready. I hear a knock on my door. My bedroom door, not the front door, my bedroom door. And I'm like, yeah, no answer. I call my mom and I'm like, hey, are you home? No, I'm at work. I call my dad, hey, are you home? No, I'm at work. I call Peter, no answer. Lord have mercy, I literally ran in my bathroom. I have a bathroom in my room. So I ran in my bathroom, I called 911, and I was like, hello, what is your emergency? I was like, I think someone's in my house. I don't know who it is, I don't know what it is. Oh, I was so scared. They were like, um, please, please tell me your name, what are you wearing? Mind you, I sleep kind of naked, so the laundry that I had, the dirty laundry that I had, I literally threw on, I was like, I have green skinny jeans and a brown shirt. Okay, cool. How old are you? I'm like, I'm 25. Are you white or Hispanic? I was like, I'm Asian. So we have an Asian 25 year old male stuck in the bathroom in the second store. I was like, oh my God, this is just insane. So the dispatcher has another dispatcher on one. It's like, um, yes, um, where is your brother? He's at school. Like, well, let me call your brother to make sure it's not him. And I was like, okay, well, he, he, he's in a different car, blah, blah, blah. Long story short, my brother comes up the, up, up the stairs, knocks on my door. What? What, you okay? I was like, yeah, what? And he starts to giggle and runs downstairs. And I was like, thank you so much, so, so much. I was so scared. She asked if I had a weapon on me. I had grabbed like an old childhood trophy that I had. Like, you know that the trophies are like made of marble. So I had grabbed that. Oh my God, I'm sweating just thinking about it. Peter starts laughing and he, he was like, oh, I was vlogging a prank on you. I was like, don't you? Ever. If you know me, ask Nanny, ask Peter. Do not prank me. Do not scare me. I turn into a queen. B I T C H. It is not cute. I feel like someone's gonna prank me in July. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I punched Peter. I sat on him. Here's a couple clips. My outfit I got. It's a romper. It's the perfect distraction for when I hit Peter. Why did you do that to me? It was so not funny. That's what you get. Crush your bones. Crush your bones. <laughs> <laughs> Big breath. Why are you acting? And the officer. Say sorry. It's just one word. I can't breathe without was getting scared, Peter. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Screenshot. Screenshot. <laughs> Lesson in this story time. Don't freaking prank me. Let me move to my favorites of June. Okay, first things first. I have been in love with this contraption. It is a lipstick stand. It is amazing. It is by Juvia's Place. It holds a heck ton of lipsticks. I don't know. I think a hundred and something lipsticks. I want to say a hundred lipsticks. It's amazing. It is so sturdy. It is beautiful. You guys should definitely get one. I emptied out all my lipsticks because I want to reorganize them because I am organizing this in my beauty room and it goes perfectly with my room. It's gonna go right behind the couch. It's amazing, it's acrylic, and it spins on a little doily, dolly, doily, I think it's called a doily or a dolly. Anyways, you guys should check it out, Juvia's Place. They have various sizes, various colors, and it's trimmed in like this crystal, and it's absolutely beautiful, and it's, it's a great way to organize your lipstick. So check it out, Juvia's Place, amazing favorite for June for sure. Moving on to makeup. Okay, for the eyes. I'm gonna start with the eyes and then the body and then 
I guess skin. Okay, so really quick. My favorite of the month is the Makeup Geek Foil Shadows. I'm in love with them. In love, in love, in love with them. My favorite shadow right now is Star Red. I know it's one shadow. This shadow is multi-purpose for me. Um, I love it because it is so freaking shimmery. It is so gorgeous. It is so shiny and it is called Starry Eye. And I, once I picked it up, I started using it. It has two R's. S-T-A-R-R-Y-E-Y-E-D. Starry Eye by Makeup Geek. It's freaking amazing. I think everyone should have it. It works on all skin tones because you can use it on your inner corner. You can use some of it on the cheek if you're really, really light. You can use it down the nose if you want a major highlight. But mainly I use it for my inner corners. I use it every single day. Every single day that I wear makeup, I use Star Eye. Check it out. The link is below. All the links will be down below. Um, the links to my Snapchat, the links to Peter if you want to um, you know, punch him for me on Twitter because he scared me. Anyways, everything will be linked down below. Also on my Snapchat, I have been getting a lot of tweets about my teeth. I have a teeth whitening video already. I get so many questions. What's your teeth routine? You should do a teeth routine. What toothpaste do you use? All I use is the pen. The pen from Whitening Lightning. That's all I use. I carry it in my bag. Um, I'll do it every other day right before bed so I sleep with it, I'll brush my teeth and then I'll do it every other day, every night, I'll do it and that's what I use. There is special codes, just check the links down below. Just check out Whitening Lightning, they have a bunch of kits, a bunch of pens. I hope that answers your questions for my new subscribers. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bienvenido a Patrick Star. Um, okay, also, I'm answering, these, these favorites are the questions and favorites of mine that I've been using. When I went to Fame Expo, I got so many compliments and so many questions on my legs. This is my Drag Queen Holy Grail combination. This is the Sally Hansen Airbrush Leg Smooth on Perfect Leg Makeup. It is full coverage, it is water resistant, and it is in the color medium. And it's amazing. It is truly amazing. I love this stuff. I will have a video up very soon about my makeup routine for my legs and for my body. I'm wearing it all over my chest, all over my chest. Full coverage. I am white. I'm really, really white, guys. So freaking white. And I just buff this in with my hands. You see how messy this bottle gets? It's because I reapply a layer, and then sometimes I'll blow dry myself, and then I'll reapply another layer. And then this is the magic dust. The magic dust gleam, gleam. And this is the color bronze gold. This is like a holy grail. It smells really good. This gleam product was developed by Melanie Mills. Melanie Mills was the key artist for Dancing with the Stars back then. Let me just dust them on. I'm taking my E2 brush by Morphe. Oh my god, we can't. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is not funny. Oh your favorite. <laughs> oh, you better script it. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh my fucking. Was I not just talking about my favorites, you guys? I'll be right back. I will be right back. <laughs> Why does my footprint look like Shrek, though? Why does it look like a Shrek foot? Oh, guys, don't. Oh. So, moving on to favorites, I want to talk about my lashes. I'm so sad that it spilled all those. Anyways, I want to talk about my favorite lashes of the month. I'm wearing them right now. They're the Lily Galici Vegas lashes. They're the biggest 3D mink lashes I have ever seen. Ever, 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 ever seen, ever. And they're beautiful. They are so beautiful. I got, I think, five or six more of these. These are the only pairs that I can wear by themselves that look dramatic. So if you are a drama queen, if you are a drag queen, if you are a queen, if you wanna look fleek and slayed, get the Vegas lashes. They are very huge for the normal girl, but if you do have a lot of eye space, if you have bigger proportions like me, like a bigger body, a bigger face, a bigger bun, then go for the Vegas Lashes by Lily Galici. I do have a discount code. Check it down below. On all the Lily Lashes, my discount code works on the whole Lily Lashes mm -hmm. site. 
just check it out. I love her lashes. I love the Lily Chi. She's amazing. And I get to see her next week. Um, speaking of lashes, I want to talk about my top mascaras that I am in love with. Okay, so mascaras. Each mascara has a different purpose. Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is just the backup. I can't find my other one. I don't want it to do through my makeup bag. But the Their Real Mascara, I love for my own lashes without fake lashes. So I love this on my natural lashes to make them look really, really, really big. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. It makes your lashes look so huge. My own lashes. Um, when I'm wearing falsies, I like to blend my lashes to make fake lashes with the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara, the Extra Black Mascara by Makeup Forever. I love this because the brush is really thick and I like to blend my fake lashes with my real ones. That's the mascara I love. And for the bottom, always and forever, for the bottom lashes, Extended Play Geek of Black. I've talked about this in my favorites before. Check it out. It's thebomb.com. And I love it because the brush is so teeny, tiny, skinny, long, you know. It's not for everyone, but you know. Some people like it skinny and long. That's all I'm gonna say. Check it out, Extended Play Black Mascara. Moving on, I'm almost done. I know this video is gonna be super long. I wanna talk about the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This concealer is the bomb.com. Sometimes, most of the time, I like to go for my full coverage concealer by MAC, full coverage foundation by MAC, but this concealer is beautiful on every Buddy, I love the colors medium dark for like an everyday look and then if I want a more highlighted look I love the color medium. This concealer is so light and it's full coverage and it blends seamlessly. It makes me look fleek. I like to set it with my Makeup Forever HD powder just a very little bit. If I'm going a little bit more dramatic I will use my air sponge. There's nothing more I can say about this concealer than other than that I will buy it. I, I will probably buy it again this week. This concealer is freaking amazing flawless flawless plus it's more blendable than the nars radiant creamy concealer i love this. this is weightless this is literally weightless it's it feels like nothing literally nothing check it out urban decay naked concealer mama's getting itchy okay three more things i want to talk about my favorite freaking blush of the moment it is love joy by mac it is a mineralized skin finish blush this blush is everything. It has like flecks of gold. It's a little bit pink. It's a little bit red. I'm not wearing that much today. I just went for more of a contour bronze look. But this blush is amazing. It is so pigmented. It's like a pinky rose. It goes with everything. Lovejoy, check it out. I'm sweating. I just want to get this video done because I spilled everything all over my floor. So Lovejoy, check out Lovejoy. It is an amazing blush. Lovejoy and Warm Soul, if you're a makeup artist and you don't have these in this kit, you're missing out. It's amazing for dark tones, light tones. It's amazing for every complexion. And this blush is super pigmented. It is on the higher end, but higher end because it is MAC, but definitely Lovejoy, Warm Soul is a must have in everybody's makeup kit, I promise. Speaking of another staple in a makeup artist kit or in your freaking life, the Mary Lou Manizer by The Bomb. It is an amazing highlighter. I've used it every single month of June. I use it in the Bahamas. I've used it in LA and Orlando. I cannot go without it. I love this on the inner corner. It is just a nice pearl champagne. Mm, I'm dropping these today. What's wrong with me? Anyways, that's the highlight. You see how, how beautiful it is? Check out the Mary Luminizer. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful for brides. For, for brides with my skin tone and lighter, um, I would recommend a different one for darker skin tones like Gold Deposit and also Lucy by Gerard Cosmetics is really, really nice for darker complexions, but Mary Luminizer is the best of June for me. I will have more highlighters like Champagne Pop coming. Um, I am wearing it today as well. But anyways, check out Mary Luminizer. Last but not least, I want to end with two things. By the way, I'm in the NYX Face Awards check out my video. That was another favorite of mine. If you guys haven't seen my paranormal activity video, that was so fun to film in this room. And mind you, I was shitting bricks because I had just got my desk and like that blood scene. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. Paranormal activity, I was like spitting up blood on my brand new desk and I was like, oh my God, like I better not get it on the chair. You can see my computer chair is white, my couch is like a beige color, my desk is all, all white, you can see. 
and oh my god it was a mess but nonetheless that next paranormal activity video was one of my favorites um and also so is this matte finish um spray it's amazing i like to spray it on my legs after i bronze with the sally hansen and the gleam when it's not all over the floor um and then also to moisturize for summer like my arms my elbows i like being really dewy and moisturized i'm obsessed with soap and glory's um righteous butter the righteous butter it smells so good what does it smell like smells like flowers, vanilla. It just smells so damn good. Like to rub this on your body after a long day, it's just amazing. I will be rubbing this all over my body because my body is ready. Anyways, that is all my favorites for the month of June. Just a quick reminder, thank you guys. Just a quick thank you. Thank you guys so much for visiting me at Fame Expo LA. Manny and I had such a blast. I hope to see you guys at BeautyCon LA, VidCon LA, and Really quick news, if you guys are still with me in the video, if you guys are still watching, my brother and I and my friend Candace, we all love Krispy Kreme so freaking much. I think when I hit 400,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I want to buy everyone Krispy Kreme donuts here in Orlando. It is a far stretch. Um, hopefully one day, hopefully soon or maybe later, um, I'll be able to invite you guys to have donuts with me at Krispy Kreme on me. So, um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my June favorites. You guys are absolutely my favorite. I am so overwhelmed with the love on Twitter, on Snapchat. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. If you guys are not following me, check me out on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat. On Facebook, I read a lot of my Facebook messages and comments, and what else? And on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I will see you next week at BeautyCon and VidCon LA, and hopefully at Krispy Kreme one day. I love you guys so much, and thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.